Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So today I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do a, an at-home gel nail manicure and I'm a little bit nervous about that. And we're also going to have a look at the Amelie gel nail polishes. So Amelie reached out to me on Instagram. I have done a review for the Amelie nail racks, which I will link up here so that you can check that out. And they contacted me and said, could we send you some gel nail polish um, to review? And I, to be perfectly honest, I didn't realise it was gel polish until it arrived. And then I panicked and thought, oh no, what am I going to do? Because I usually use normal nail polish and I paint my nails every day, as you know, if you watch my channel. But I'm guessing there will be occasions like when I'm starting this new job or when I'm travelling or if I'm busy or away for a few days that I may need to have my manicure on for a few days. So I'm going to try this out on the ho in the hope that I may be able to use this system at some point in the future if I need to. So this is what I'm doing today. What Amelie did was they actually sent me some more nail racks, which was really nice of them. They didn't have to do that, but they sent me four new nail racks, which I've been using. They've been great. You can buy the nail racks on everything's on Amazon and I'll link it down below and I'll make sure that the link is down below for Amelie and the racks are $14 which works out at about £8.50, £9 um, and they're great, they're good racks and the, the best thing is they've actually taken on board what I said about the screws and they've changed the screws. So this is one of the display racks that was sent to me and as you can see I'm really pleased that they have changed the design of the screws. So the screws are more of a flat design, which means they're much easier to put together and also the shelves themselves are quite solid. The only problem is with the packaging. Um, now they all came at different times, so I'm guessing that different people packed them up. Some of the pieces were packed in tissue, some were packed in bubble wrap and a couple of the actual shelves as you can see this one here at the back which I use as my regular display down here in the filming area and there are bits of it that have kind of broken off so that's a, that isn't to do with the design of the rack that's more about the packaging um, so yeah I think that can be easily resolved so let's have a look at the polish. Amelie sent me several nail polishes actually. I got quite a few packages over a number of days. And this was a couple of months ago actually. I did have to go and buy um, a UV lamp. So Amelie sent me uh, some matte top coats, a no wipe top coat and a base coat. And they also sent me some polishes. I've got two black polishes, um, this kind of plummy shade, a bright red, a colour changing polish. And they do actually have colour changing magnetic polishes and this really nice nude. And I've actually put them here on the swatch wheel. So the black, obviously, this one is the nude. This one here is the shimmery kind of plummy shade. This is the red and this one here is the colour changer. This is a solar polish which changes in the sunlight so it's not affected by um, temperature, it's the, it's the direct sunlight and you can see it's beginning to change back again. I've just had this in the sun so it's starting to change back. This one is intriguing me so this is the one that I'm actually going to try um, in my first home gel manicure, I thought I'd go for something a bit different and do the colour changing polish. So the gel polishes come in a box with instructions, so it tells you how to use them. We're going to go through those instructions. Basically, every single step that you use, you need to go under the lamp for 30 seconds. That's, that's how I'm taking it as a complete novice. And it's a no wipe top coat, so that should be quite easy for me. Um, as you can see that colour is changing. So it goes from a very, very, very pale baby pink to quite a bright kind of fuchsia pink. Okay, let's make a start.
So that was actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. Um, and it dried quite quickly in between the steps. So you can see I've put my hand under the cold tap here with this one. So it is a temperature changer rather than a solar um, colour changer. And uh, so this is various stages of going back to this warm state. And in the cold state, it's this bright cerise shade. First impressions are this is really easy to use. Um, it's the formula is different obviously to a normal polish it's slightly thicker but the brushes are great and the application is really easy so I would definitely use these again if I needed a gel polish removal it does say that you're not going to have to chisel it off it's going to be just wrap your nails in acetone and soak for 15 minutes so like the foil removal method I'm going to use these soak off clips that were sent to me by Catherine I will include all of the links below for Amelie and again thank you for sending me this polish for review and the racks, they do come in really handy. And thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in the next video, bye!